So thank you all for joining. Um, we really appreciate everyone taking the time to, to join and, and see what we have to share with you today. So this is going to be a new format for sharing product announcements across all of our products. Today, I'm excited to share what our team has been working on since we brought Recursive and Taskfeed together. I'm joined by our product manager, Kate Kasker, and for those that haven't met me, I'm Andy Mahood. Hi, everyone. So in this session, um, we're going to cover all of our core products. I'll share the themes that are driving our product roadmap for each of our products. Kate will then take you through what is new this summer. We'll then be introducing two completely new products. And Kate will then explore some areas we're starting to work on throughout this year and into the next. And finally, we're going to hang around at the end to answer any questions. So feel free to pop them into the Q&A section of the Zoom webinar and we can tackle those at the end. So I want to kick off by reminding everyone of the journey that we're on. Um, I'm then going to share where we're going from a product perspective. So it's been over six months since Taskfeed came together with Precursive, and in this time, we have been hard at work refining our vision for how teams can work together. So Taskfeed is now Precursive, and this has been great for us as a company, and now we're seeing the benefit this is going to bring to all of our customers. So we believe that customer success is critical to all companies, and we're seeing firsthand how customer success and services teams are learning from each other and working closer together. We recognize how our customers work, and to reflect this, we have defined three core products around these needs. So Recursive OBX is all about building repeatable onboarding and project playbooks, managing work for each customer and project, collaborating internally and with your customer. So OBX lets you plan, schedule, and deliver success for each of your customers. Recursive RCO helps you find the right people for projects, allocate work, and balance workloads for your team. Recursive PSX extends the capability of RCO, helping you to ensure that each project is successful and profitable. With PSX, you not only stay on top of your team's capacity and utilization, but also project budgets, cost, expenses, you can calculate margin for professional services projects. So for those who are Taskfeed customers, you might recognize that Taskfeed is now Recursive OBX. We feel that onboarding experience better describes how customers are using the product to drive value for their business, and we think that OBX sounds pretty cool. What was simply Recursive is now two products. So this recognized the very different ways that customers work and are using Recursive. So Recursive RCO is focused around customers who are looking to plan and allocate their teams and forecast projects. Recursive PSX is for professional services teams and businesses who need to track project costs and margin who are managing various project rate cards, for example, uh, managing resource costs and tracking time and expenses. Our customers either use one or multiple products together, or they use our whole platform. Usage is typically influenced by the type of work that you're delivering, your team size, uh, and how your business evolves over time. So OVX customers have started adopting resource management features from RCO as they've started charging for implementations. They've then started to adopt PSX to, to manage and measure profit and margin as these become key KPIs for your business. So while the names don't change anything by themselves, what this brings is a clear spread of capability for, for everyone here. So there are some core themes and principles that drive how we're designing new products. So the first is our platform experience. And we look at this in two ways. First, how we make our products work together. And the second is ensuring that we're fully leveraging all of the power of the Salesforce platform. So in doing so, we create better products for you and we create products that are more expandable, configurable, and designed to work within the ecosystem of Salesforce and the App Exchange. So leading on from this, customers expect our products to be flexible, and they are, and this is what makes them really powerful. So while our products are flexible, they must still be easily installed, set up, upgraded, and managed. We're working in a number of ways to improve how Precursive products work out of the box. And the improvements each of you will see is an easier, more seamless upgrade, which ensures you can stay up to date with all of our innovations much easier. And finally, Product Insights is where we want to move beyond data and reporting to insights and recommendation. And this is something we're going to be working on more, and you'll see more throughout the rest of the year. 
So for Percursive OVX, we understand that project success is dependent upon engaging customers, and we want to bring the customer closer to that overall experience. So we're already doing this today with external sharing and communities that let you engage customers and share your onboarding and project plans with them. But we've got more ideas to improve how you work alongside your customers. As we bring the Percursive OBX experience closer to RCO and PSX, we want to provide you all with more power for managing larger, more complex projects. An example of this is Board Hierarchies, which we made available earlier this year. So Board Hierarchies allows massive projects to be broken into a project hierarchy, and we're continuing to innovate around this theme of powerful project management to ensure Percursive OBX scales from repeatable processes all the way through to transformational projects. And it's our belief that the power of Percursive is going to come from combining project execution with resource and capacity management. So we think about this as actionable capacity, and I'm going to have more to show on this later. For both Percursive RCO and PSX, we focus on project or resource managers and individual contributors. Now we're focusing on improving the experience for each of these groups. Resource managers are our power users, and we want to reduce the work required from resource managers and make assignments for, the for them to their team much faster. We recognize that individual contributors experience recursive as just a timesheet. We're working on continuing and continuing to explore how we can make their interaction with recursive simple, easy, and fast. But more than this, we're challenging ourselves to create surprise and delight. Most of our customers are running client projects and we recognize how we can help improve the experience you provide your clients from status updates to billing and probably a lot more. And we're going to be focusing on how Percursive helps you to improve your client's experience. So these are the themes that we're now aligning the product and features against. These may and likely will evolve over time and we'll keep sharing our thinking with you as they do. So Kate will now take you through what's new this summer across each of our core products. Thank you, Andy. Uh, I'm very excited to share with you what we are delivering to our customers this summer, which includes big updates across all of our core products. So let's start with OBX. Well, this summer, we're bringing a lot, a lot of new features and improvements that perfectly aligns to the themes that Andy has just described. And this is the rebranding of task feed, customer collaboration, the new powerful plan view, and an easy way of creating project templates. Also, new lightning components and other improvements that we've been focusing on in the last couple of weeks. So new to OBX, uh, is the rebranding of TaskFeed. The TaskFeed app becomes Precursive OBX. TaskFeed boards becomes Precursive boards, and so on. And we'll continue to align this visual identity and, identity and user experience of our products over the coming releases to provide a consistent platform experience. Aligned to our theme of customer collaboration, we made a huge improvement to how you can work with and alongside your customers. When we run customer projects, we work with our customers and not against them. Projects are collaborative. We wanted to provide a way to define a team around your project, which included your customers and partners. From this summer release in Precursive OBX, contacts can be added to board teams and assigned to task, tasks as contributors. When contacts are assigned to your board team and to tasks, it means your customers can receive more meaningful updates from Precursive when tasks assigned to them are overdue or ready, just like the ones you receive. Customer notification, notification will also include a link tailored for each contact that delivers a personalized experience to external sharing or community. To help you maintain engagement with your customers, we can also enable engagement notifications, which will alert you when the contact opens your board for the first time or the first time in a while. This will be huge for managing customer projects, and we continue to improve this experience throughout the year. We have rebuilt our plan view. It's now faster and more responsive. 
The new plan view is amazing and will allow us to add more capabilities to it over the coming releases. In the new release, you'll be also able to create project templates from boards, and that will make your life a lot easier. Just build out a board with its lists and tasks and set it as a board template. Create a board type for your new template and just start using it. This will remove a lot of complexity involved in scheduling your processes in a spreadsheet across multiple references, subtasks, durations, and lead and lock times. For more advanced features like scheduling from space for date fields, you'll still be able to use task and list templates. Coming back to the platform experience theme, OBX is Lightning native. We have created a number of Lightning components which you can embed into your standard pages and use them having the same great experience as in the task feed tab. You'll be able to add your boards and task components to your homepage to see what's coming ne next as a, at a glance. Going to the board page, you'll be able to add the board team and the board stage components to see who is your project team and what is the progress of, the, of your project. Then on the task page, you'll be able to log your time, see your time logged history, add checklist items and track the list path. So this summer, you'll also be able to edit your boards and tasks in a more convenient way by editing multiple fields at a time. For more complex projects with Kairaki, you'll be able to add dependencies between tasks on multiple boards, which will allow you to have more control when a task from one board is dependent on the task from a different board. You'll also be able to repeat tasks and log scheduling of the dates on a task. And all those features and improvements will make a lot, your work a lot easier and reduce the time that you are spending coordinating the work rather than just doing it. So let's now have a quick look at the new OBX features. So this is our new plan view where you can easily navigate through the timeline. From here, you can amend your project plan by moving tasks, changing their dates or duration. The lines that connect the task are connection between a task and its predecessor. But you can also adjust those while you pro your project changes. As I already mentioned, in this summer release, you can also edit multiple fields on a board or a task at once. Just click on the, side, the right side pane and you can see that the right side pane becomes edit editable. Here you can adjust the dates of your task or add some notes. Now, let's navigate to a single task as I would like to show you the new Lightning components on the standard page. So here you can see a number of Lightning components. At the top, I've added a component for the uh, list path where I can basically uh, change the progress of my task. Here, I have a, con a task contributor uh, component where I can assign people to, to tasks or add additional contributors to it. Here, I have my checklist component where I can add additional checklist items, but also mark them as done. To see the time log history on the task or log your own time on the task, you can navigate to the time history component and just add your time log. Now let's take a look at, the, our, board, at our board. Here we can see the board stages at the, at the top of the page and we can edit the board stage. 
In the board team component, we can assign users to roles, but also add additional board team members. In the task component, I can change the assignment to list on tasks. I can also mark the task as complete or edit them and lock uh, my time on it. Now let's go to templates and let's make our board a template. I'll create an onboarding template based on my existing board. I'll just select the template format to be a board and select the board that should be used as a template. Now I'll make it active and save. Once I have my board create my board template created, I can create a board type for it. I can make it active and select the board template. Oh, I forgot to make it active. And that's it. You can now start to use this board type um, with the new template created from an existing board. So let's click on new board. And we have already the type available in here. That will create a board with all the tasks and lists that existed on my previous board. So now let's move on, let's move on to Precursive RCO. In the last couple of weeks, we've been focusing on, on the flexibility and the improved platform experience, which we provide to our customers. With the RCO summer release, you will be able to start using our new precursor plan, easily configure new projects, phases, or resources attributes, but also easily adjust your precursor configuration. New to Precursive RCO, we have taken all of the capability of Precursive plan and have made it so it can be dropped into a single project or phase. When embedded into the project or phase, the plan filters automatically. This is a great view for project managers and a great way to build out, build out the team. Aligned to our themes of flexibility, we have opened up many of our screens like new project, new phase, new resource, to allow you to easily add your own custom fields while you're creating new records. To make managing Precursive even easier, we have added a simple app configuration option to Precursive HQ. Here you can set up your Precursive plan color configuration or manage a set of automations in the background processes. That includes uh, the budget, utilization, and remaining holidays calculations. But also here you can set up your email reminders or timesheets auto automations. Because of PSX has some big changes too. And that includes everything from RCO plus the multi-currency, promotion reporting improvements, and faster timesheet entries. So later this summer, we'll be releasing multi-currency. For many of us, we have team members in different regions, paid in different currencies, and we build our projects in clients' currency. Sometimes we need even track, need to track expenses in various other currencies. Now in Precursive, this becomes simple. You can define your base currency, then each project can have its own project currency. 
and Precursive will convert between a resources cost, a project's billable rate, to work out the budget, cost, and revenue, and of course the margin, accounting for all the various currency conversions. You can set up any currency you choose, define the dated exchange rate, and Precursive looks after the rest. To make the multi-currency conversion even more accurate, we've improved the promotion feature to include the cost changes over time, and this will allow now to also report on promotions and costs on a daily level. Also in Precursive, we have made big improvements to timesheet entries, making this faster and easier for your teams. And this is just a start of, uh, of work around delighting individual contributors. So let's have a look now at the new RCO and PSX features. The new Precursive Plan Embedded Component, which is available now for projects, phases, and participant pages, um, will give you the full uh, power of Precursive Plan built in this page. Here you can build your project team and have a great overview of your project team capacity. This component filters automatically so that you can, when you open the project, you'll basically see your project team uh, from all those different phases and their real capacity, including time booked on other projects. As you can see on my screen, this is my project team on the Salesforce onboarding 2020. And being on the project, I can see everyone assigned to each of the project phases. If I would like to see what other projects my team members work on, I can navigate to the filters and switch on to see all the bookings. That will allow me to see on what other projects my project team is working on next week. For example, Meryl, I can see that she's working on two other projects next week, so I can't basically book her to my project. Now let's go to my precursive where we recently worked on improving uh, the speed and the user experience by making it faster and easier to fill in, even when it comes to timesheet comments. Now, as you add your time on a project, we don't let you to wait until the entries are saved. We save them in the background for you and you can quickly move to another day. To add a comment, just click on the pencil icon and on the comment bubble. Here you can add your comment. If it's long enough, you can also extend this window and just click save to see your comment. Now let's have a quick look at the Precursive configuration. That's a completely new section on Precursive HQ. And here you can manage your colors configuration, but also the background processes. So as I mentioned, here you can recalculate your budget, utilization, but also remaining holidays. You can schedule your email reminders and also switch on some of the timesheet automations. So that was a taste of what's coming this summer across our core products. Now Andy will share with you some really exciting news. Well, that's a lot. Thanks, Kate. Um... Well, I'm going to take you through a couple of new products um, that we've somehow managed to work on alongside all, everything that Kate has, has taken you through as well. So for the first one, so let me set this up. So we, we believe um, in this feedback loop of your project driving a much more accurate capacity forecast. So this alongside project managers and their individuals managing their work with an eye to its impact on capacity means that projects are being planned with a better understanding of the team's bandwidth. So this is gonna massively improve the success of your projects and completely eliminate hours of admin work, reconciling resource capacity and project plans. But most important to us is hugely reduce issues with individuals feeling swamped because of this invis invisible workload that's gonna put on their shoulders because work just keeps on being created and assigned without an understanding of someone's actual capacity. So the way that many teams are working is a result of a disconnected view of the work and their team. Work is assigned without regard for capacity. Work builds up 
so it doesn't get done on time and projects get delayed. We try and estimate using terms like our team can handle 10 projects a month. And while this gives us some understanding of the team's capacity, it quickly gets complicated by you know, the stage of each project, an individual's own working schedule, their time off, or just the, the fact that not all projects are the same. You know, some projects take longer, some are shorter. So now many of these challenges can be solved with resource management. So, but what often happens is that resource managers are booking the team out without a full view of the project plan. As that project plan is then defined by the project manager and the team, resource requirements change and the, there's a need to, for everything to be adjusted. And this, and this is just how projects work. It just creates more work. Now, as the project plan strays from that original resource plan, we then need to reconcile and rebook people to the project. As for the individuals, we ask them to do timesheets, which is usually weekly, you know, Friday afternoon, and, and they can often be wrong because it's just difficult to remember what you did on Monday on Friday afternoon. So this is all simplified if you're working on one or two projects, but for those of us working across many more than that, then life gets tough pretty quick. So this summer, we're rebranding Task Feed to Percursive OBX, and that's not in name only. So we've been rethinking how our products work together. So for those of us running projects in Precursive OBX, for us, our project plan is our resource plan. So now with Precursive OBX working with Precursive RCO, your view of your team's capacity and availability is created based on the assignments of tasks. This means your resource plan is as accurate as your project plan. As your project slips or changes, your view of capacity is immediately updated. The roles in Precursive OBX can be assigned using all that availability search that's, um, that's from the precursor plan in RCO. As time's logged against tasks, you, that will all flow into your timesheets behind the scenes. And this will all roll up to show the real cost and profit for your projects. So for those of us who have productized service delivery or this repeatable structure to your projects, you can, you can create task templates or board templates like Kate showed earlier. So these templates can then be imported into your project automatically, creating your resource plan in Precursive. So let me show you how this works. One moment, and just share my screen. So I want to give you a taste for how easy this is. So in this demo, I'm working with Salesforce and Precursive. Um, I'm going to show you how using Precursive, we can take an opportunity and create, let me just make sure I'm sharing that. Sorry, let me stop sharing. There we go. So I'm going to show how, how using Precursor we can take this opportunity and create a project plan and a resource plan using templates in OBX. We'll then see how we can view our resource capacity and assign the right people based on their fit and availability. We'll then look at how changes in OBX update the resource plan immediately and how logging time on a task can just flow through to your timesheet. So here's my opportunity. Um, we have Precursor configured to create a project when opportunities close one. And you can see we've got this little precursive project section on the right. So when we go and close out our Sodor shipping project, our, our opportunity, that's now close one, and that's going to create a precursive project against the opportunity. As we've got precursive OBX set up too, we'll also be creating a board for the project, as well as importing our implementation plan template. And this all just happens for us. So you can see we've got the, the precursor board and precursor plan embedded within the opportunity here. So a board is your workspace for outlining the tasks, the plan, defining the team and collaborating around work. We can view the board in this drag and drop board view, where you can just pick up a task and move it to in progress. And we can move and have a look in our plan view as well. The plan view is great to see the timeline and dependencies. And we can see our project's been scheduled automatically from the template, dependencies and all. 
So it's that quick to spin up a project. So let's see who we need to assign. So if I look on the board, I can see the board team. So you can see this from OBX on the team tab of the board. You can see that we need an implementation manager, support and customer success manager. As we're using the full Precursor platform, we can now use the Precursor plan to see an overview for our entire team's availability. So let me bring that up. The Precursor plan shows me everyone, or I can create filters to see different teams or role. I can also expand everyone out to see what's on their plate. And this shows the bookings, holiday and time off, but we don't need that now. So with this collapse, I can see uh, Sam's at 100%. We've got Nico over capacity later in the month. You know, we, we can kind of see where the capacity is. But what we want to do right now is assign someone to that project that just got created. So in Procursive, these are created as resource requests. So let's enter request mode and take a look. We can see a few projects waiting to be assigned, and we're going to focus on our Sodor shipping project. So now we can see the resource view of that project we were just looking at. So this shows week by week bookings for each role. So we're going to start by assigning the implementation manager. We just click assign next to the implementation manager role. So now the view is filtered based on the role that we were just looking at, um, which is implementation manager. So I could additionally use the filter to the right here to you know, search with different tags and filter by skills or other categories to match the right person. But I see here that Harry looks like the best fit. So I can just go and assign Harry. So with Harry assigned, he'll be notified and can now see the board. So what we've just done there is from our, our templates, created our project plan within OBX. That's automatically built out our resource plan within our CO, where we can then see our, our resource requests. We can then use the power of the precursor plan to assign the right people based on their availability. Now, we're talking about the challenge of resource management and how plans change. So if we jump back to the board, I'll actually do that from the task feed tab. So we jump back to the board, Harry might speak to the customer and identify a change that needs to be made. So by changing the plan in OBX, those resource requests for support and CSM are going to get updated automatically, uh, as does his own availability. So let's, so let's take a look at the solution discovery meeting. So let's say that we've spoken to the customer and this can't be done for a few weeks. So this gets pushed all the way back to the 31st. So as that change is applied, that's then updating everything within Recursive. So as we did that, because of update Harry's availability and those resource requests for support and CSMs get updated too. So we can pop back here. If we just refresh this screen and expand uh, Harry, we can see, actually if I have to now skip out to the quarter, we can see that we're now pushing more capacity on Harry out into the end of August and into September. So these all got moved out because within task feed, all of our tasks are related with these dependencies. And when you change a task, the whole schedule gets adjusted. So let's bounce back to the board now. And what we can do is we can pick up this task that we moved to in progress earlier. So as we work through the project and record time, this time's gonna appear on my timesheet. So I can see that this is 30 minutes estimated on this task. I'm going to select it and log an hour. And then I can just drag this to complete. Okay, so we've just logged an hour on the task, moved it through to complete. And if I jump into my timesheet now, we can see that an hour has been logged against the right project for today. So you'll notice that the timesheet even tags the task, which means more detail is available, which really helps when it comes to billing especially if clients are requesting statements. So your time sheet's always gonna be accurate and it's gonna be populated through the week as you're working, rather than having to come back to it on Friday afternoon. And finally, for professional services teams, we also use the information from roles, people, project and opportunities to calculate project financials. 
So these are calculated for the entire project or discrete phases. So everything is integrated and designed to work as one and it's all on the Salesforce platform. So you can configure your own process and rules and report on all the information being captured. So Kate, if you could um, bring that slide back up. So I started the session reminding everyone that task feed is now percursive and with the summer release, this is really true. With the full power of the percursive platform incorporating OBX, RCO and PSX, we're able to plan work, collaborate with customers, balance workload, see demand versus capacity and see the real cost and profit for each project and your entire portfolio. So task feed customers will benefit from this deep insight into their team's availability, capacity, project cost and margin, Recursive customers will be able to start building out project templates and collaborating around project plans internally and with your customer. If you're new to Recursive, then you can now see how the breadth of our solution combined with the Salesforce platform can really change the way that you're engaging with your customers. So you can start working with the full Recursive platform today. Um, we'll be hosting a deep dive into the full Recursive platform in the coming weeks. So that was a new way of working for recursive customers across all of our products. So next up, I want to share a new product for recursive PSX customers. So many of our PSX customers are running professional services teams and would like to have a better way to use timesheet information for billing their clients. Today, project managers and finance manually creating invoices, they're sending reports and emails around the house to approve timesheets, um, to approve what's been billed, and this means it's slow for invoices to be sent and even slower, makes them even slower to be paid. So you want to be able to bill for a project or for a few projects and include all the relevant time. But wouldn't it be great if we told you what was unbilled and let you see what's still needed to be submitted or approved? And then when it was, your draft invoice just gets updated as the timesheet approvals happen. We want to see the plan, booked and invoice costs, including any discrepancies between what was booked and what was invoiced. Because you know, sometimes it happens. We might roll up an invoice or make changes or there might be currency changes. If we did all of this, it would need to be integrated into our accounting system. So, we, so finance can send and reconcile the payments from those invoices. So today invoices are slow to be sent, take ages and distract our PMs from the project. And they're slower to be paid because customers find inaccuracies, they miss billing runs, customer queries for more information. So with because of billing, is a new way to manage your billing and invoicing. So billing extends PSX to let you create invoices from projects as either time and materials or fixed price. With cursive billing, you select what you want to invoice. You can then summarize that information neatly by role, individual, activity, ca activity category, or just a single line. Once you have your invoice, you can generate a PDF and send it to the customer directly from recursive billing, or you can send it straight through to your accounting system. You can also incorporate an approval process so the PM can raise the invoice and only have it sent to your accounting system once it's been approved. So generating invoices is much faster. They're created from the source timesheet entries. You can see what's been invoiced and what's unbilled for each project, and you know when you've been paid. So this really closes the gap between your project team and finance. You'll also be able to integrate directly with popular accounting systems, including NetSuite, QuickBooks, and Xero, and we're working with Salesforce billing as well. Beyond these, you can integrate with your own accounting system using our APIs. So integration keeps a record of the invoice along with your project so that you can see when the invoice is paid. So with this new information, you can better manage the payment workflow and further tighten the loop between your project managers and finance. So we hope recursive billing will help you receive cash faster and provide more insight into the real profit your projects have generated. Recursive billing will be available in the coming months and is an entirely new product from Recursive that extends PSX to help you receive cash faster and provide more insight into the real profits of your project. So that was quite a lot. And we've covered all of the themes that will be impacting what we deliver throughout the year. Kate's taken us through what's coming this summer across our core products. 
and we've just been through two entirely new products. Recursive billing, which helps you receive cash faster and provide more insight into the real profit of your projects. And now Taskfeed is now Percursive OVX, fully integrated into the Percursive platform, combining your project plan and your, result, and your resource plan. So next up, Kate's gonna take you through the release schedule for these products and share some insight into what we're working on next. Yeah, so let's have a look now on the summer release timeline. So as Andy mentioned, our connected platform is already available. Uh, we are planning to release OBX, RCO, and PSX to be available for sandbox upgrades on the 24th of August. Two weeks later, it will be also available for production and in the app exchange. Billing will be available from September as a beta version and generally available from October. Now I'd like to walk you through what we are currently looking at. Following our themes, we want to provide our users more insights. As the health of your projects and, cust and customers and the time to value are essential metrics in your world, we want to support you in recognizing that and take better decisions faster to make sure your business is growing. We also want to support project managers in their daily work. As they often work on very complex projects, we want to make sure our tool will support them in delivering those. Multiple dependencies will allow them to have more control uh, when a task from one board is dependent on a task on a different board. But we also want to help them identifying what's the critical path on the project. As often we hear from you that plans need to be shared with your customers in a presentation or be visible in other tools, we are planning to add the possibility to export the plan to PDFs and MS projects. To also help you to easily identify the capacity of your team and help you decide who is the best person to work on your projects, we are looking at adding the capacity view to your plan. We'll be also looking at adding the visibility of when your team is off on holidays so that you can uh, take better decisions and manage your projects uh, without any capacity crunches. Similarly as to OBX, uh, in RCO and PSX, we are looking at how to better support our users. So one of our focuses will be to make uh, the resource managers and the project managers lives easier so they can focus on their work instead of coordinating it. We are looking at improving the way people look for the best person to fit a role on a project, adding the possibility to request resources with certain skills. We also want to enable mass resource request assignment and also give you insights on who is the best person with available capacity to work on the project. We also want to delight individuals so that Precursive isn't just a timesheet for them. We want to make my Precursive their work management center by incorporating their holidays, expenses, and approvals, making their experience in Precursive delightful. Following our theme of flexibility, we want to provide our customers faster and automated upgrades, but also make the configuration of PSX much easier so that every admin can configure Precursive from Precursive HQ. So now it's time for questions. Uh, let's see if we have any. So there's a question, is Precursive billing a paid add-on for PSX or is it included? Yeah, so I can take that. So th there will be some additional cost around billing. Um, we'll be sharing that over the coming months as that product enters, enters that beta cycle um, into August and September. Um, so we're, we're still defining what that's going to look like, but um, if you're interested, I recommend you reach out to um, your customer success manager or, or salesperson or someone that you've been in touch with recently. Mm -hmm. There's another question um, about OBX and be, uh, OBX being Lightning na native. Does it mean that we can't use it in classic anymore? So I can pick this one. 
uh, it doesn't mean that you can't use it in classic anymore. It just means that in Lightning, we added some components that can be uh, used only in Lightning, but you can still use OBX in classic. And we recommend highly uh, to move to Lightning as uh, the Lightning experience gives you much more possibilities. Okay, I've just seen a question coming through the chat around how to get into the beta program. So I get for, for that, I'd recommend reaching out to your customer success manager. Um, we're trying to get as many people involved in that as possible. Um, so yeah, re reach out to your customer success manager and we'll be able to get you ready to join that. Mm-hmm. There's another question. Can project plans be built around time boxes such as sprints rather than waterfall style gun charts? Yeah, so, so we've been working on this with a, with a couple of customers at the moment. So within OBX, um, I actually mentioned it earlier. We, we, earlier in the year, we introduced board hierarchy, which allows us to group boards together. Um, so this actually worked really well for defining a backlog for a customer and then with each kind of related board being a subsequent sprint. Um, within OBX, you're then able to drag the task between the different boards as you're planning work and as you're moving things into the next sprint. Around how this then works with, um, with RCO in terms of building your resource forecast, that's, based, that's all based on the dates on those tasks. So at the moment, those tasks will need to be scheduled for a period of time, for example, the period of time of the sprint. Um, but it's an interesting use case, and it, I think it's something we can definitely explore. Um, there is another model to how you can use recursive RCO alongside OBX, which allows you to have the two integrated, but not have, the res but not have your resource plan updated automatically. So in that case, what you'll have is tasks within OBX and, and what's actually bookings within Recursive. And the system will kind of synchronize the two but not overwrite them and let you know if there's a discrepancy. So in that case, if you've got people on a project working in sprints over say a 12 or 24 week period, you can create that long range booking, create all the boards underneath it, and everything will just work. As soon as you start sh to schedule tasks outside of the range of that booking, you'll see a notification and an alert on those tasks to show that there isn't a corresponding booking for that task. So we do support two different ways, and you don't, you don't need to force your resource plan to be updated automatically if there's kind of more governance controls in place. Um, so we can definitely explore how those will work with you. Mm -hmm. There's also another question about the multi-currency in PSX. Does it mean we'll need to use that? How does that affect our org? So maybe I'll, I can answer to that. Um, the multi-currency have to be enabled to be visible in your org. So if you don't need the multi-currency feature, you don't have to worry, it won't appear uh, directly in your org. Uh, but there will be a configuration on Precursive HQ which can be enabled and the tool will lead you through how to configure the multi-currency if you want to, to use that. Do we have any other questions? Feel free to add them to QA. Maybe give. Okay, so I, I guess if, the, if there's no other questions, you can always feel free to reach out to Precursive um, at support at recursive.co.uk or reach out to your customer success manager for more information. Um, thanks everyone for joining. Uh, I hope um, everyone enjoyed what we had to share with you and as excited as we are about the upcoming summer release and what we're planning for the rest of the year. Thank, Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.